In this lesson, you're going to get three lessons because today we're going to cover grammar, vocabulary, and pronunciation. All right? So, today basically what we're going to look at first is which verbs go with which prepositions. This is always fun. I know. I know how much you love that. So, that's why in this lesson you're going to get to decide whether to use the preposition in or the preposition on with certain uh, business verbs or general verbs. All right? Now, today we're looking at about eight of them. Okay? But this is actually part of what we do in an online course which I've created, which is called Correct Your English Errors in 10 Minutes a Day. We correct different types of mistakes that people make to do with grammar, vocabulary, pronunciation, uh, expressions, and so on. Okay? So, if you're interested in that, please check the link in the lesson description. But for now, let's get started. So, number one. I'm going to read the sentence and in each of these sentences you have to decide whether the correct preposition is in or on. Okay? Those are the only two options all the way through. And we have to choose one of them. All right? There is always a preposition that we need. So, number one. Let's focus blank the current project. So, what's the correct answer there? Let's focus blank the current project. What do you think? The correct one is on. Let's focus on the current project. What does it mean to focus? It means to pay attention to, pay special attention to something, to focus on that, to give your attention to something. All right? Now, that's the grammar part of it, that we should say focus on something. The vocabulary part, to focus means to pay attention to something in particular. And the very important, in this case, pronunciation part is that this word is pronounced focus. Say it after me. Focus. This word is very often mispronounced and then it can sound rather rude. So, be really careful how you pronounce this word. Okay? Good. Let's look at number two now. Our team participated blank the meeting. Our team participated blank the meeting. What should it be? To participate in something. Okay? This is the correct answer. To participate in something. All right? That's the correct grammar part of it. Now, what does it mean to participate in a meeting or in a conference or in a presentation? What does it mean to participate? To take part in it, to be there and to be actively involved in it or to be involved in it. Okay? Good. Number three. He specializes blank wedding cakes. So, what's that? Which is the right preposition here? He specializes in wedding cakes. Okay? You specialize in something. So, what does it mean to specialize? To specialize means to become kind of an expert in a particular area. Not on everything in general, but particular area. To focus on that, to know a lot about that, and therefore you specialize in that. And you become kind of much more aware, if not an expert, of that area. Okay? So, this person specializes in wedding cakes. All right? Now, uh, pronunciation, specialize. The pronunciation here, participated. The verb by itself, participate, past tense, participated. Good. All right? Number four. 
It depends blank the weather. So what do we need there? In or on? It depends on the weather. All right? You depend on something. What does it mean it depends on? That means, well, let's let's look at an example. Let's say we're going to we're organizing a picnic, but is it going to happen or is it going to be canceled? I don't know. It depends on the weather. It depends what happens. Uh, it we we base our decision on whether the weather is going to be good or not, okay? But in general, to depend on something means to be able to count on something, to be able to trust something. So if we trust that the weather is good, then we will have the, the picnic. If not, we may cancel the picnic. All right, let's pronounce the verb correctly. It depends on. Good. All right, very nice. Number five. Please concentrate blank your students. Please concentrate blank your students. So somebody told the teacher who was doing, maybe wasn't doing the right things, Please concentrate blank your students. So what should it be? You concentrate on something. You could also say, please concentrate on your studies. Okay, you could tell the students, please concentrate on your studies. All right, so you concentrate. What does it mean to concentrate? This word is like this one, okay? Focus to pay special attention to. Please focus on your studies. Please concentrate on your studies or on your students or whatever, okay? So here, concentrate on. Say it after me, concentrate on. It is helpful to say the preposition after that because then your brain is hearing the right information, the right combination that you need when you're using these verbs. All right, number six. We believe blank honesty. So, which is it? In or on? We believe, yes, in, okay? You believe in something. We believe in honesty. So, what does it mean to believe in something? You have trust in that, you have faith in that, or you follow that principle, okay? So, and you trust that it is true, that it is right, that is to believe. So, say it after me, to believe in. You can believe in someone. You could say to your, your child, I believe in you. You could say to an employee, I believe in you, in your ability to do a good job, to get this contract, to do this work, all right? So you could believe in someone or in something. Next, number seven. She insisted blank taking a taxi. So what's the answer there? She insisted on, okay? She insisted on taking a taxi. To insist on something means to say again and again, no, this is what I want to do. I don't want to do anything else. This is what we need to do, okay? You insist, you keep saying again and again that this is what somebody needs to do or whatever it may be, okay? It could be she insisted on ordering a pizza, okay? She said again and again, no, I want a pizza. I don't want anything else, all right? So we use it in many different contexts. All of these words, you can use them in business situations and you can use them in your regular life, okay? No problem. Good, let's pronounce this one, insisted. Let's say the whole thing, to insist on something. Okay, excellent. Number eight, we rely blank support from the IT department. We reply, sorry, we rely 
blank support from the IT department. So which is it? We rely on, okay? To rely on is like one of our other words here. Do you know which one? It's this one, okay? So rely and depend basically mean the same thing. I rely on you. I'm counting on you. We, I'm depending on you, okay? That means you, uh, you're depending on them for support. Uh, let's say in this case, from a particular department, from someone, from a department, from something, okay? So to rely on, to depend on, they mean exactly the same thing. Say it for pronunciation, to rely on, all right? Good. So now you've got the grammatical part of it, you've got a little bit of the meaning, you've also got some pronunciation, but let's make sure that you've really got the grammar part of it, because that can sometimes be the most challenging. Is it the in or on? Maybe you got some of these right. If you've got all of them right, that's fantastic. But make sure that you use them correctly, because these are very commonly used words. And if you're not using them now, you can start using them and that will certainly upgrade your level of English, okay? So when we come back in a second, we're going to review the prepositions with these verbs, all right? So now let's make sure that you have mastered the correct prepositions. Let's review them again. It takes time to make sure that you're using the right prepositions, okay? So don't worry if you get it wrong, even the second time, just review it. You will get it. There's no question about it, okay? It's just a matter of practice. So let's do that. Number one, let's focus blank the current project. What was that? Let's focus on the current project, okay? Now, if you wish, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna step aside. You can pause the video. You can fill them all in if you have a piece of paper and then you can join me or you can continue as we go along, all right? Let's jump around a little bit to make it more interesting. Let's do this one. Please concentrate blank your students, or please concentrate blank your studies. Please concentrate on your studies, okay? Just so happens that the concentrate on, focus on, they are similar in meaning, and they also use the same preposition, all right? Let's take another one, number three. He specializes blank wedding cakes. He specializes in wedding cakes. All right, very good. Let's take another one, number seven. She insisted blank taking a taxi. She insisted on taking a taxi. Great. How's it going so far? You're getting them? Okay, step by step. Let's try number two. Our team participated blank the meeting. Our team participated in the meeting. All right, very good. Let's jump down here. Number six, we believe blank honesty. In or on? We believe in honesty. Excellent. Number four. It depends blank the weather. It depends on the weather. All right. So what's left? Uh, this one down here, number eight. We rely blank support from the IT department. We rely on, right? So we had said depend on, rely on, also count on, means the same thing, all right? Very good. So as you saw, when we did it a second time, it doesn't mean you automatically get it. You do have to work at it a little bit, but hopefully you've already mastered some of them. So what can you do now? Basically, 
write your own sentences, okay? What have you participated in? What do you need to concentrate on? Um, what do you believe in? Make it relevant. Write some sentences about your life, your work, your family, and then these words and the verb and the preposition will come together nicely in sentences that make sense for you, all right? So do that, that will help a great deal. And remember, these are only eight, but if you'd like to improve your English in lots of different ways, please do check out the link to my course. Uh, we're getting a lot of excellent feedback from our students, and I'd love for you to be able to be part of that, all right? Thanks very much for watching, and you can, of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also go to Ingvid. So remember all of these things and all the very best with your English. Bye for now.